Welcome on my YouTube channel. Today in this episode I will do some kind of unusual video what I have until now on my YouTube channel because one of my subscriber, his name uh, Isidoro Mage, I hope pronounced well. So uh, Isidoro, he asked from me to do a kind of uh, gear porn video. So maybe I'm dressed like a porn star, <laughs> I don't know. So what is mean gear porn video? He said he and a lot of other guys on YouTube is really interested on, on, on real gears. He also interested on my electronic lab. I came from the analog uh, real gear era, so when I was a kid, I just have a possibility really time to time, not always, just time to time to jump uh, to some uh, sound studios or uh, radio studios or whatever and, and play and, and uh, mixing on really old gear, pff, heavy, uh, huge analog mixing desk and really huge synthesizer analog uh, cabinets or whatever. And because of that, of course, I learned everything from the physical gear era. So but nowadays, of course, there is a lot of software. You can do almost everything on your computer, but we just dreamed about it 20 years ago. And uh, you easily can get a really amazing uh, instruments, effects, whatever on your computer, even on your cheapest uh, notebook. So, but in my case, because I'm kind of old guy, uh, I keep a lot of gears, a lot of real synthesizers, also a lot of uh, uh, real uh, FX units and whatever. And because my, my uh, source, almost always the second hand market, I also keep an electronic lab to fix <laughs> and uh, develop these gears because most of the time I always looking for gears on eBay or on other uh, second-hand markets for gears which has some kind of issues, problems, whatever, or completely not uh, functional or it's totally damaged or whatever. And um, so this is how I save a lot of money with my, let's say, uh, average or low average electronic uh, knowledge. And I really like to go deeply inside uh, looking for uh, technical data and uh, semantics and uh, try to understand how, how the, the gear and the synthesis is working and then, then of course to, to fix it to get use in my studio. So because of that I keep this uh, lab which is behind me and most of the case I'm working on, um, on uh, audio range because mostly I do stuff uh, with, uh, with the music. So because of that, of course I don't have to keep really high-end and uh, psh, really special uh, uh, instruments in my electronic lab. So most of the gears, what you will see here, is exactly matching and fitting into my requirements. So let's jump now to my electronic lab gears, what I have and why I have. So my first baby, this is a real, um, let's say, <laughs> industry standard uh, on analog uh, scope word because this is a Tektronix uh, uh, 475 oscilloscope which has, uh, I, don't, uh, I think if I remember good, it uh, can run up to 200 uh, megahertz or 300 megahertz. It's really a basic uh, scope. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit uh, old and crusty and noisy. I, I know, but I really like it because it's uh, really, uh, really uh, responsive uh, scope on uh, on analog signals. So my next uh, device, what I really like on my analog uh, uh, lab is this um, Fluke uh, 853A differential uh, multimeter. So why I like this? Because um, if I'm dealing with uh, amplifiers and preamps, of course the most important 
in in almost any kind of uh, amplification is is the biasing of of the stages so with this device i can do really easily a fine tuning on my biasing because uh, let's say for example now i just uh, hooked up a, a simple panasonic battery to 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 show you uh, what is mean so let's say i want on my uh, uh, biasing on my first stage of, of the FET or, or the transistor, let's say uh, 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 voltage on, on the biasing, then I just uh, turn this to the, to the value, what I want uh, on, the, on the biasing, and then here on the differential measurement stage, I can see if the planned voltage is different from the actual voltage so and then when i do an adjustment on the on the on the biasing then i really can read out uh, where is going so you can see it's a really uh, really responsive tool to do a biasing because with the digital multimeter you just have uh, the numbers are jumping in 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7 because there is a time to get uh, the measurement on a dig digital multimeter but with this tool I have immediately responses on, 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 uh, on the changes of the voltages and then of course this can go down to the, uh, to the millivolts range so I just have to, sorry, I will disconnect now this. So I have to come down to the one volt and then zero, zero, zero. And here I have a really, really small, tiny uh, amount of adjustment on, of course, because now I'm not feeding nothing, but you can see if I just touch the input with my finger, the, 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 the measurement is it's moving so this is why I like uh, this unit and of course uh, this differential function it exists on positive DC or negative uh, negative DC and also on the, on the AC uh, voltages and also it has a functionality to measure really high uh, value of resistors uh, 100 mega ohm so this is actually my lovely tool to do adjustment on even on a tube uh, preamps so let's uh, switch off this and go to the next one it's not key sight it's edgy land it's still edgy land so uh, my next uh, gear here is this uh, edgy land uh, digital scope yes i just have uh, two channel uh, of input but I have uh, fully functional on our, on our digital inputs and also I have uh, uh, the, the signal generator option on it and blah blah blah, it's nothing fancy, it's a really nice uh, uh, mixed signal oscilloscope, oh, sorry it's like kind of, so this is the DSOX 2002 which is much more than enough for me to do uh, a basic uh, uh, measurements on a, on audio range. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, please go to the YouTube and, and watch uh, what these scopes uh, can do for you. <laughs> the, my next uh, gear, I don't know uh, what, what you think or what you not think and why is it in, in here in the most important place of my desk because this uh, unit it has uh, built in a lot of functions like for example uh, uh, Vedasek so I, I bought this on eBay for 20 new euro or 30 euro I don't remember of course with some kind of issue but it's really easy to, to fix because everything is just uh, so what's the name of this? this is the Warcraft Universal System MS 9160 this is actually a signal generator a counter a multimeter 
and uh, uh, voltage uh, source. I really like this unit because most of the time when I'm uh, working with uh, uh, breadboards or some kind of uh, uh, developing, of course I don't want to kill my uh, uh, much more higher uh, precision tools, so most of the case uh, under the developing I'm use this <laughs> this universal system because it's for me in an analog range it's a really universal so for example I can generate here a normal sinus uh, signal let's say up to 10 megahertz and uh, then I can uh, adjust here the, the frequency uh, let's say on audio range uh, maximum 10k so uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a two channel counter, the, the low channel can go up to 20 MHz, but the channel B can go up to 2.7 GHz. <laughs> I'm not sure it's <laughs> on a 2 GHz range is counting precisely, but you can see here I easily can uh, turn uh, this uh, analog uh, frequency uh, here let's say to the CCR uh, frequency and then I can record the output to my tape recorder and I can uh, play it back or whatever so yeah it's really really a, a great unit for analog uh, basic analog uh, measurements and and um, the multimeter part it's uh, kind of uh, <laughs> awful because <laughs> it's powered by a normal 9 volt <laughs> battery. I don't know why they design like this, but if the the multimeter is go to black, I always have to turn all the device out and replace the battery and uh, place it back to the uh, to the place. But for uh, really basic measurements, it's a really good uh, uh, four digit, uh, digit uh, uh, multimeter. But of course, there is no my functions to calculate power for example so this is my analog uh, breadboard killer <laughs> system so let's uh, switch it off and go to the next one this is my next gear it's it's a Weller VMD3 uh, uh, digital controlled uh, soldering station I'm telling you guys, I have in the last uh, 20 years a lot of uh, different uh, soldering station, but this VMD3, it's beat all of it. So it has uh, a really great uh, digital controlling inside and it's really well designed and all the, all the, all the cables are, are uh, anti-static, but... Um, so in one time, anti-static but really, really soft uh, cables, so nothing uh, heavy cables running uh, to the soldering iron. So I really like it because it has uh, a vacuum uh, channel, it has a normal soldering channel and it has a hot air channel also. So And it's really easy to, to do a maintenance on it and it's really precise and the uh, soldering irons is heating up in almost in one minute so it's amazing for example this uh, uh, really fine uh, soldering um, iron it's uh, the VSP80 which can uh, provide you 80 watts of power on this really tiny oh I don't want to touch so on this really tiny tip and um, it's really heat up in in less than one minute. It's about a second, so I really like it. And and this desoldering iron, it's uh, again, it's anti-static. Of course, everything is made in Germany, and it's it's amazing. It's um, I don't wanna speak too much on it. Maybe one time I will do a complete uh, review on this uh, soldering station because I couldn't find a lot of video about exactly this uh, configuration. <laughs> yes, maybe you can see here, it's 
20 mega sample per second oscilloscope DSO and the name is 1624 from the gold and um, <laughs> if you want to get a real gear porn now I will show you some really gear porn so let's switch it on Oh, maybe, maybe you hear <laughs> I hope you can hear it. So this is how this uh, gold, not gold, so not a metal, gold. This is how this gold uh, oscilloscope is switching on and uh, uh, this auto calibration progress it's about <laughs> one one and a half minutes but after this calibration uh, you get a really decent scope for for uh, for the audio range because it can uh, basically this is a digital and analog mixed uh, oscilloscope and what I like about this unit, it's a really weird unit even in the in a gold uh, 20 mega sample per second digital oscilloscope because this scope, as you see, it's have one, two, three, four differential inputs. You can imagine for your digital other scope or for your other scope if you want to get a, a really decent uh, uh, differential input you have to pay a lot of uh, money for for the for the test uh, head and with this scope i have already four pieces built in and of course there is other lovely functions like uh, i really like this uh, method to to adjust um, um, <laughs> things on this scope, I don't know why new scopes are not doing like this because with this uh, step pad uh, positions, uh, I really quickly can uh, go uh, to wherever he wants to go, and um, it's. Um, I think this uh, scope, it's everything about uh, speed. How 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 you operate? It's really simple to understand and really, really uh, it's it's a kind of neat scope uh, it's also built in a <laughs> printer so if i'm if i'm doing a um, really deep measurement of my gears time to time i just print out from this scope this small uh, uh, paper I, I fold it and I place exactly into the device and then later on I can see all the settings and all the measurements and all the all the, the cursors or whatever on this paper so later on I don't have to uh, so don't have to remember what I did I, 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 how I measured the, the stuffs uh, in my gear and I also really like it on other stuff because the new digital scopes cannot do analog uh, scope. So now I just uh, touch uh, the pin of this uh, uh, lead. So so now if I find the signal on analog way, you see it's a really. By the way, the display it's a really nice and crisp lines it's much more better this screen i much more prefer this screen than my old uh, tectonics uh, oscilloscope and if if one time uh, of course you can adjust uh, the the level of the analog scope part and uh, on other you can adjust uh, the the measurements and the, the reports on on the scope so if i find let's say the the best adjustment for my signal, then I just switch to digital and ta -dam, I have here a digital uh, <laughs> scope 
which is yes, nowadays it's a bit awful because it's just 20 mega sample per second, but hey, for an analog uh, world, this scope is far away more than enough with these functionalities, with this uh, four, uh, uh, four uh, mm, differential inputs. And now grab your seat. I bought this on eBay for 19 euro plus three euro shipping. This Rakal Dana um, Universal Counter, which is the name is 1991. I think it's the date <laughs> of, the, of the instrument, but so uh, with this, I easily can hook up to two frequency and I can switch between them. And also I can do interesting measurements like frequency A, period of the A, uh, the TA factor of A to B and um, the total frequency of uh, from A by B phase differences. I can measure phase differences and ratio between the two, two frequency. And also there is a lot of other function in this baby. And so let's let me turn it on for you without uh, input. But uh, you can see it's a beautiful instrument with a really uh, uh, massive display and uh, again you you easily can see what's going on for example now I switch to DC or auto triggering or I will adjust the, the level of uh, of the the trigger or whatever so it's a really uh, friendly uh, frequency counter I really like it and um, so yeah and it's it's small and uh, old and there is a, a original uh, user manual for it with with uh, semantics inside so um, I really <laughs> I really like this uh, by the way it smells really old it's uh, 1992 hmm or even older I think doesn't matter so yes I, I, I really like it it's uh, nothing fancy maybe most all of you guys have uh, this kind of uh, um, power source. Uh, one thing why I really like this unit is the simplicity of, of the adjustment. For example, I want here 6 volt. Thank you very much. And I want uh, 0 0.5 ampere. Done! They don't have to do the jiggling in and menus and go deep in the menu, blah, 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 nothing. And uh, I have a couple of presets for my uh, favorite uh, instruments to, to generate uh, voltages with the current limiting and whatever. So basically it's a three, let's say it's a three channel power source. I don't want to speak uh, too much on it because it's uh, not too interesting to me because it's new, so it's a kind of a new technology. But what I don't like on this is the noise of the fan. So definitely I have to check on the EV blog what other guys did with this uh, power uh, source to get uh, the fan much more silent there. This baby, it's a Kenwood Wow and Fluter meter. It's a, is the FL 180A um, instrument. Basically, this is nothing more than um, a fruit uh, meter for. Um, you see now it's do some kind of calibration, so it's a Wow and Fluter meter for my tape recorder. Actually what it's doing, it's uh, generate for you the, the frequencies. For example, here you can see the GIS, uh, NAB and the CCIR, it's using 3 kilohertz and the other one, the DIN frequency, it's using 3.15 uh, kilohertz. So it's actually is generating a signal here. You record with your tape machine. And when you playing back, you can analyze the, the movement in the speed of your tape. But if you have a measurement tape, what I have 
couple of pieces with, with um, pre-recorded CCR or, or NAB signal and then if you play back then you get a really deep picture about your tape machine what's going on with the head and what's going on with the, with the speed of the motors and also it has a lot of other functions like you can do a basic uh, distortion metering the, the bow and the flutter and blah 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 a lot of uh, things and I'm telling you guys for this old tape machine what I have this um, TIC uh, X1000 this is really fast enough to to do the adjustment on, on, a, on a motor controller. It's a desk uh, multimeter. I just uh, call this Soli because it's a Solartron Schlumberger, Soli and Schlumi. This is how I call it. It's a really neat old uh, digital multimeter and uh, I really like it because in the range of let me turn it on i just don't like the the switch how it's uh, placed on the back so as you can see it's 6.5 digit multimeter i bought this on a ebay 50 euro or something like this of course with some kind of issue which is really i fixed in a couple of minutes it's just one diode it is died in the in the power uh, circuit so then the whole unit is blah, it came crazy so now everything is fixed and then i did a checking with uh, some kind of uh, standard a voltage standard and uh, it's really performing really well but what i like about this device if you switch to four digit and you see it's unbelievable fast and of course you can do a zeroing it's counting back four three so now it's do averaging on a null level so all the resistance of your lead and all the generated voltage on your lead it's became nulled so now i'm completely on null and then i really i just touch look how fast bang 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 it's unbelievable fast and it's true on on current it's true on uh, resistance and true on diode uh, measurements everything so but if i want to get uh, really high precision measurement look at this one two three four five six plus one digit this is <laughs> This is one of my biggest hunting on the, on the eBay because yeah, I, I really like this Schlumi. So <laughs> if you see that on the eBay, this Schlumberger 7150 plus, go for it. Even if it's three or 400 euro, I'm telling you, it can beat a lot of uh, new multi digital multimeter on your, on your desk. So yeah i really i really like it this gear is definitely kind of porn actor uh, beautiful it's heavy it's massive and uh, you easily can kill somebody with it <laughs> i'm telling you it's like about uh, 10 kilogram or something like this and inside this device it's amazing let me demonstrate to you bang look how fast is it um, i attach here uh, the frequency counter i just i just turn the uh, turn this big knob and then I, I just finally this one and then here with these two uh, adjustment i really can fine adjust the level of the signal and look how beautiful it's it's uh, yeah, amazingly precise on the on on the decibel measurement because the the measurement unit it's mirrored so you easily can find the exactly zero db 
for example, from 0 dB, if you turn here, you can be sure on your 600 ohm output because it has 600 ohm output and a 75 ohm output. So you can be sure the 0 dB generated 1 kilohertz signal on your 600 ohm output is exactly 0 dB. And then you can go just by steps. So like bang minus 10, bang minus 20, bang minus 30, bang minus 40, bang, bang, bang. So with this gear, you easily can uh, fine tune your preamp, your EQ, your compressor. For example, you easily can do, let's say you set up your compressor or under the test to detect on minus uh, 20 dB. So you just turn here, minus 20 dB, and don't forget this can capable uh, do output on 600 ohm. So you just have to feed in directly into your uh, compressor. And then you can see if the compressor will switch on and how you do that. There is a really fine adjustment on the, on the output level. Let me show you. You can turn like this, tack, 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 or with the other fine adjustment, you can, okay, let's go no plus one dB or plus quarter dB, sorry, this is plus uh, half dB. And then you can see if your compressor is switching on or switching off. So that's the purpose why I like it. And I'm telling you guys, <laughs> it's amazing. I really like it. It's a heavy, it's a piece of metal. So yeah, I just turn like, like this. Okay, let's now generate 10K signal. You see uh, the precision about this device. If the frequency is changing the um, amplitude of the signal is not changing at all. Let me let me show you again. So fine adjustment, of course, with the temperature, it's a bit moving. So now I just switch on and it's called device known, but you can see bang, 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 and go, 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 and nothing, nothing, nothing changing. So yes, I really like it. And other things why I like it, it's give you a dB, and this also gives you uh, on an RMS voltage. It's really handy if you work with uh, analog uh, stuffs. My next uh, baby, this is the Ulad Packard 3575A gain and phase uh, meter. So what this can do for me in the analog uh, repairments, I easily can measure phase differences between the input of the effect unit and between the output of the effect units. So for example, if I want to enhance uh, the, the quality of the EQ, of course I touching the capacitors and the, the, the resistors and the transistors and the op-amps or whatever, but because of that, it's easy, it can change the, um, the the phase in your device. So I exactly, I do like a generator signal with this uh, puppy. I do a, a division with this uh, T adapter. So this one is running parallelly into my A channel A. The other output is running to my gear and from my gear, I looping back the, to the channel B. And then after, I can see here the difference between the two signal uh, about the phase, so how much um, degree I have phase differences. In so this is one purpose. The, the other purpose in the, for the phase uh, stuff in, in the preamp, uh, or the preamp because it has um, a capacitive coupling, you already get some kind of uh, phase difference from your original uh, microphone signal, for example, and uh, uh, between the 
signal which is coming out from your first uh, preamp stage. So this is the unit what I'm using for really I just simply hook up uh, this kind of uh, uh, small, uh, maybe here you can see, this is I always hook up this small um, the crocodile uh, something to the channel B and then I can see the difference between the incoming signal and between the outgoing signal from the first uh, uh, preamp stage. On the amplitude, sorry now we are on amplitude measurement, so amplitude measurements is speaking in dBs, so with this device you can, let's say, the first, the channel A you set up to, to the 2 millivolt range, the channel B you set up to the 20 uh, volt range, and then you can measure the amplitude differential between the input and the output. So, and it's speaking in dB, so it doesn't matter how much um, signal you hit the channel A, of course, because it's run through the, the amplifier, for example, the mic preamp, then you just will see here in dBs the differences. And um, of course, if you play with the frequency on the input of your amplifier, then you can see and even you can plot uh, on your paper with your pen, you can plot the, um, the amplification factor on the frequency dependencies. So with this tool I easily can find a problematic coupling or problematic uh, uh, feedback um, uh, issues in the preamps and with this tool I enhanced a lot of instruments what I have in the studio and um, I don't want to say which one but in the past I have a mixer, analog mixer, where I go through all the 24 channel with this puppy and I replaced the, the capacitors and um, the op-amps and whatever and then I got an analog mixer with unbelievable clarity. But now of course I've changed uh, to digital so this uh, mixer is just uh, staying on the corner. So yeah, I really like it and look how beautiful it is. It's a black, uh, red black display with two really simple display and it can tell you immediately what's going on. So this is your incoming uh, in a dB voltage and then you have a function here B per A or simply you want to see the, the B or the phase reference and also for the, the, the gain reference you can choose the A or minus A. So uh, you can do easily uh, a measurement on uh, inverting amplifiers because most of the case all the op-amps are working like inverting amplifier in all the circuits. So with this device you don't have any issue. To, to get a measurement on the phase and on, on the amplitude. So yeah, I really like it. So it's a simple CD player and a simple amplifier. The amplifier is nothing fancy, I just find in a, in a garbage in Augsburg, in uh, one of uh, our uh, construction field. So I just pff, did some kind of modification inside and uh, I cleared the path of the signal in this amplifier and that's all I have a really basic amplifier. This uh, CD I also find in a garbage here on, in Berlin and what I really like about this CD this advanced pulse digital to analog converter and you can adjust the digital filter so maybe you can see the pot is there you have a standard and one, two, three. It gives you <laughs> a possibility to change your filtering in your converter based on the technology and age of your disk. And I really like it. So the purpose here for this CD to pump 
the tape recorders the, with the signal from this CD and this CD I'm telling you guys is almost noise free and it's really responds really well and I really like it and <laughs> yeah, this really is simple to to really simply and really quickly find the track on, on a disc so yeah I, I really like it so that's only the purpose why I keep here most of the time I'm just uh, listening to uh, normal uh, uh, music from it or again I uh, use this uh, output to my to feed my uh, tape recorder this Canton speaker it has a very nice um, speaker combination with almost perfect size for the, for the frequency ranges and I really like it because it's really quick and really precise on the transients from the bass to the mid-range and from the mid-range to the uh, high frequencies and by the way this speaker now is just came to my lab electronic lab speaker I really like it I really love uh, this speaker and I really like to to listen a uh, music on it it's a not a uh, studio monitor quality speaker but because it's old and it's dry wet and whatever it's have kind of uh, shiny and old uh, characteristic in the sound and is performing really well on the music of 80s, 90s and the 70s and the 60s and even on the 50s. So I really like uh, this speaker. I don't know the type number of, of this, but I'm telling you guys, it's uh, the speaker is amazing. I have other pair from that exactly same type which is really unique because the Canton did few pieces from that speaker in total white. So you can imagine in my home, I have kind of uh, old hifi uh, system and I'm using this speaker. But look how, how huge the, the woofer is really huge. It's about uh, 20 centimeter. So I really like uh, the, the sound of this speaker and it's really performing well in small room big room even in my studio there is a time when i used this speaker as my secondary hi-fi monitor beauty this is a mastec uh, rcr meter i really like it it has a big display and uh, fast enough to do a measurement it's precise enough basically this is the uh, this is the unit what I'm using to to find um, total um, same capacitors to my uh, stereo gears and um, this is nothing fancy it's a Fluke 87V you cannot be watch EV blog if you don't have Fluke 87V multimeter I really like this unit it's amazing then I have uh, just a couple of I don't know driller batteries again this is my um, soldering station the islands there is uh, uh, test leads and all these um, drawers and whatever it's full with uh, cables and connectors and um, I don't know maybe I want to show you maybe not so that's all I hope you guys enjoyed who is interested on uh, porn gear or gear porn or porn of gear <laughs> <laughs> so this is my uh, analog uh, uh, audio um, electronic repair lab and in the next time I will show you guys everything what I have in my uh, studio one by one but of course in the studio I will do some kind of uh, deeper explanation what I have and for what purposes and so now I, I just did a really short uh, demonstration on, on all of my gears of course later on one by one in each video you will see uh, how exactly uh, these units are operate I'm not saying I have a, ooh, a really decent uh, electronic lamp but for my purpose to work 
on, uh, on our audio range and with my uh, gears and with my synths and with my uh, FX, it's far away more than enough. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So catch you next time.